So welcome to the new video guys, and this isn't going to have any gameplay in it, as the T77E1 is sadly not out quite yet, but this is going to be kind of my thoughts on the new update that's going to be coming in these new vehicles. So, as you guys can see, we have the first big thing, I've already played that video for you guys in the beginning, very beginning of this video, we have the new USA Anti-Air at rank 2, uh, 650 cals, you know, on an M24 chassis, Supposedly a fast start traverse and good elevation angles, 85 degrees upwards, which pretty much means you can shoot anything upwards that isn't, like, directly above you, which is most aircraft. Good pilots will just go directly above you and murder you like that, but that's another topic. So, the gunner and commander being both exposed, you guys saw those glass things, and it's plastic glass, it's not gonna, like, armor your driver or gunner at all, or your commander or gunner at all. Uh, that's gonna be 50 cal, 7.62, uh... That's going to be like death for any kind of firepower at those kind of orbs. So with the commander, I don't think it actually matters much, but because the gunner is also in one of those, that means that someone can just pretty much shoot at your orb over and over and over and kill your vehicle that way, which isn't exactly ideal, especially when the planes can also do that with, I think, 20 millimeters that they're armed with at that BR, which is pretty insane. So kind of sad, like it's still an anti-air that you get hit once and you're, you've lost. And yes, of course, 50 cal is great at defeating unarmored vehicles. I think this will be a little bit less good because almost every American medium tank at this PR has a 50 cal. So, six of them isn't really going to do much, especially with the lack of armor. So yeah, here it is. Here's some more photos of it. I'm going to zoom in on those photos for you. One right there. One right there. Pretty much exactly stock M24. Chaffy chassis. The turret's interesting, though. Uh, so, yeah... Missing some variety in the earlier ranks. I would say, I don't know, but this is a rank 2, which means this is before the M42 and M19A1, which I feel like that's that's the problem that I was thinking they were going to fix, because we had a giant gap from 4.0 to 7.7 in anti-airs. Like, in between there, you would just die to cast, and there's nothing you could do, because your anti-air was chucking pieces of lead, 40 millimeter chunks of lead up in the air, uh, which isn't exactly good for fighting early jets and stuff like that. I was thinking this new vehicle was going to be uh, helpful in that, but apparently not, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll just be good for its BR. Uh, good vehicles for the US, thank you. So T-77E1 is joining the game. Very strong lineups, well beyond its battle rating. So they're like thinking it's going to go beyond the battle rating, which is kind of interesting. I wonder if this is their, like, you can play it after the M19 or the M40. I don't really think so, though. Because a 40mm, like, you can kill a tiger from the side. That's pretty good. Uh, firepower, yeah, drastically increased by the from the X, M16. Uh, the M16 is fine, but like 50 cals are 50 cals. They're not gonna do that good on hit on an aircraft. You gotta hit a lot of them because um, they're firing pretty much solid, solid shot. Unless they've changed the ammo for this, although I doubt they have. Okay, yeah, uh, 65 degrees per second with a top crew, so really fast start traverse, uh, even with a not top crew. Uh, crew levels, they don't really matter, especially if you're like a low-level player. Uh, pretty much only, I don't even look at the crew levels very much. I'll do it sometimes. I would say go into them a little bit. You know, upgrade your crew, upgrade your reload, upgrade your field repair, upgrade your commanding. That stuff, very important. Okay, so yeah, fair bit of room, gunner commander position, slightly outside the turret. Not exactly my favorite thing. Uh, plexiglass glass housing offers no protection against incoming fire. Both crew members can fire the gun, so that's fine. I guess they can't just target your gunner. They have to kill your commander as well, and then you're cooked. The hull is M24 Chappie, so not very protected. It, you, on a very, very strong angle, you might deflect one shot, although probably not against the people you'll be going against. Turret protection reduced. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Turret was pretty weak anyway. Overall thickness is 12.7 millimeters. I think that is the cap for 50 caliber fire, which is not very good, because that means any weak point on that turret is going to be penetrable by 50 cal. And 50 cals are very good at finding the areas where they can penetrate. Very good mobility, though, I have to say that. The half-tracks kind of suck in mobility. It's, it's unfortunate. Comfortable SPAA, fast traverse speed, yeah, as long as you can see the enemy aircraft. I think these are still when enemy aircraft are fairly slow, so it might be very good. Um, against very slow aircraft, as long as you can track, this thing will shred, I swear. Inaccuracy, okay. So widespread of fire. So this thing will just spread bullets like a ton. It's pretty much like a shotgun. Which helps, I guess, if, if you're not directly on target. You might get a couple hits. That kind of tell you where to go, you know. 
Yeah, that's stuff. And then, I guess the skank is coming to the U.S. as well. That's pretty interesting. And then Great Britain finally gets a Ram, too. I've heard a lot of people who want the Ram, the other stuff in there. Okay, skank is coming. That's kind of good, I guess. Skink, skink is so slow to traverse. Uh, honestly, not good enough. I would not get this vehicle. For the, for this one, it, it definitely get it if you're going to be playing rank 2. Uh, this thing looks like it'll be worth it very much. Uh, yeah, the Ram 2. Oh, premium. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next major update. Okay, good. And yeah, just an ad for their pack. Let's look at the comments for a little bit. I think these will be interesting. Because uh, honestly, I thought it was going to be top tier. I'm kind of sad. Or like middle tier at least. Never seen a submarine on tracks. Okay. Yeah, I agree with Bing Bong right here. Only right two, yep. Yeah, why would you have to do it at premium? <laughs> Cat, you're chaffy. Dang. Yeah, I just... I would have see, wanted to see a in between 4.0 and 7.7 anti air, honestly. I feel like that's what the US tech tree needs. But the addition of the Skink and the T77E1 are their additions to the tech tree, so we will take them as American mains. I'm not sure they will exactly be the best additions, though. So, in kind of finale, the T77E1 looks like a vehicle that you probably should get. It will be fairly quick to research, I guess, because right 2. I would not go for the Skink. Uh, I would go Britain if you're going to play this game at all. And of course, the Ram 2. It's already in the game. While they're making a premium, I would not buy it personally. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching my review. I hope that I kind of portrayed a diverse um, opinion of this update. I have not watched any other update kind of overviews on this vehicle. So this will be 100% my own thoughts. I haven't even, like planned this video. I just pretty much set it out. So if you like my style, if you want to go check out my other videos, please go down, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.